Hi, State Representative Russ Diamond here, and we're exploring some of Lebanon County's hidden gems. Today, we're at what most people know as Boxcar Rocks. Just to give you a sense of exactly where we are, we're in the northeast corner of Lebanon County. If you go about a mile that way, it's Schuylkill County. Half a mile that way is Schuylkill County. To the southeast of us is Secrets Dam. And down below us on the other side of this hill is a railroad bed. And then off to the west is Roush Gap and, and uh, what a lot of people call uh, St. Anthony's Wilderness. So, but I'm joined today by State Game Warden uh, Dustin Stoner. Thank you for joining us today. Can well, you thank tell you for us, having me. Tell, you, tell us a little bit about Boxcar Rocks geologically. I mean, we used to ask, you know, who built these? You know, did the Indians do this as a fort? Did the Chinese, but is it, is it a Chinese wall? That sort of thing. So tell us about the geology of Boxcar Rocks. Boxcar Rocks is a, a conglomerate, which means it's made up of various stones. Um, what you see here is, is a result of erosion. I mean, this mountain used to be much larger, right. and over the course of time, you know, there's some con uh, conflicting reports of whether the glaciers were this far south and kind of caused the erosion, or whether this was just, you know, in time, you know, from rain events and, and whatnot, and wind, that it sp exposed what we have here today. Okay. Um, the, the formation um, basically was a sediment that, what I read 300 million years ago, when this plate was closer to the equator, the, um, the sediment was near the seabed. Mm -hmm. And eventually over the course of time, as the plates moved around on the earth, um, it was found itself here and erosion caused what we have here today. So the earth buckled, pushed these rocks up to the, t uh, up, and then the, the dirt washed away from it in the, in, the, in, in the rain and the wind. And uh, now we have the exposed spine is, is basically. That's, that's this, it. This spine goes back about, I think it's about a quarter, maybe a third of a mile that way to another uh, formation that a lot of people uh, famously call the uh, Chinese wall. But uh, now we are in State Game Lands 211. Can you tell us the history of when the State Game Commission took over control of this land? What was happening here before the State Game Commission took control of this land? Well, in the early 1800s, mid 1800s, the Stony Valley was a corridor um, which had a railroad bed, mm -hmm. um, which hauled timber and coal from the Schuylkill County area down to the Susquehanna River. There were a number of different communities established along that route. And uh, about the 1940s, the Game Commission began to acquire property um, and create State Game Lands 211. Um, and since that time, we've made different acquisitions. I believe this acquisition here was in the late 1940s. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we've established it for uh, habitat for wildlife and for recreational opportunity through hunting and trapping. And also some um, you know, other opportunities, uh, recreational opportunities, hiking, bird watching, and that sort of thing. So, so let's talk about the wildlife that use this as habitat. I mean, what, what kind of hunting is done here? What kind of wildlife lives here? State Game Lands 211 is a very popular destination for big game hunters deer and bear and mm -hmm. turkey. Um, you can find all three here and um, if you spend enough time hiking around you can get connected with where these animals are, are inhabiting and, and how to locate them, trails and, and food plots and that sort of thing. I mean it's good for uh, small game habitat as far as grouse and squirrel. Mm -hmm. um, there are trapping opportunities here, there are fisher that, that here, raccoon, foxes, coyotes, things like that. Um, Stony Valley, uh, Stony Creek is a good destination for fishermen. Um, and also the, the railroad bed corridor is also popular for hikers, runners, and mountain bikers. Right. Um, and it is open through the, the uh, railroad grade to do that. Right. The, it's, there's only certain locations on game lands where you can hike and bike, I'm um, sorry, bike and, and ride horses and right. things like that. And that's one of those locations. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, because I've hiked here ever since I was a kid. I've also hunted here. Tell us about some of the things that the Game Commission is doing to keep uh, people who come up here for recreational purposes, hiking, that sort of thing, and hunters, keep everybody safe. Tell, tell us about what the Game Commission does to, to make sure that you know, there's no injuries here during hunting season, that sort of thing. Well, the land is managed primarily for habitat and for hunting opportunities. However, the other recreation opportunities are sub, you know, secondary to that. But we wanna make sure that people that come and visit to hike and to view areas like this are safe. So when there's hunting uh, during the fall, there's a requirement to wear fluorescent orange mm -hmm. um, when you're out here. It's not just a requirement, but it's good common sense. Right, right. Um, 
you know, people come out here and there's hunting opportunities and uh, we don't want there to be a conflict there. Right. Um, you know, when you're out on state game lands, we ask that people respect the property, carry, carry out what you carry in. Uh, don't leave litter, don't disturb flora and fauna. Um, you can come and view and appreciate what nature has given us here and you know, that's okay and we welcome that. We, we want people to appreciate what nature has offered us. So. Okay, great. Well, that's it on Boxcar Rocks. If you'd like to come, at, come and visit Boxcar Rocks, let me tell you how to get here. You'll take Route 443, north of Sotara State Park. You'll take a left-hand turn on Gold Mine Road. Then you'll go up over the first mountain on Gold Mine Road, down through the valley, up to the top, near the top of the second mountain. And the parking, there are parking areas on the left and the right side of the road. Please come and, uh, you know, come and appreciate this hidden gem in Lebanon County.